Hi and welcome to the video training of Node.js and in this video training we will be learning about how to call Python script from Node.js. Node.js is one of the most adopted web development technologies but it lacks support for machine learning, deep learning and artificial intelligence libraries. Luckily Python supports all these and many more other features. Django framework for Python can utilize this functionality of Python and can provide support for building new age web application using machine learning and artificial intelligence. For those developers who are not familiar with Django framework but use Node.js framework can also benefit from Python using child process module for Node.js. Child process module for Node.js provides functionality to run scripts or commands in languages other than JavaScript 2 like Python. We can implement machine learning algorithms, deep learning algorithms and many features provided via Python library into Node.js application. Child process allows us to run Python script in Node.js application and stream in out data into from Python script. Child underscore process dot spawn. This method helps us to spawn child process asynchronously. Let's create a simple Python script that will take two command line arguments as a first name and last name then display them. Later we will run that script from Node.js application and display output in the browser. Okay, let's go to the command line and create a project node python. Let's set the permissions node python. Okay. Let's create the python file first which we will call hello.py okay import the system module it will take first name and last name via command line arguments and then display them so let's use the print function output from python print first name colon plus system dot argument first index last name colon plus system dot argument second index save the script and we have this in the command line okay now let's move on to node.js server code we need to create a file and let's call it start.js start.js okay Let's import the express.js module into our app and creates its variable. Express equals require express or app equals express. Create a server which runs on port 3000 and can be accessed through localhost. App.listen 3000 is the post and the function will on connection we can say console.log server running on port 3000 okay and function call name is executed whenever url is of the form localhost 3000 slash name so let's define a route name and call the function call name when this route is called now let's program the call name function this function will receive the request and response objects and we are going to use child process spawn method from child process module and assign it to variable spawn so spawn equals require child underscore process dot 
spawn okay. parameters passed in spawn type of script list containing path of the script and arguments for the script in this case we have hello.py that is the python file so let's pass in var process equals spawn okay python it is a type of script the second thing is list containing path of the script which is hello.py and the additional parameters request.query.firstName request.query.lastName so we will be passing these two fetching these two from the python script okay okay the final step is to use the std out function std out on event data when data is received from the python script and manipulate that data we can send this data to the browser data dot to string and that's it after saving the python script and server side code run the code from its source folder folder by following command so let's go to the source folder and type in node start.js it shouldn't run because we haven't installed the express module yet yeah so let's install npm install express express is an external module so we need to install it for node to properly run this program node start.js okay now our server is running on port 3000 let's move on to our server localhost 3000 and we need to call in the route name and pass in the parameter first name tech and last name weber Okay, as you can see I got the output from Python first name tech last name Weber so we have achieved a two-way communication between the node.js and Python script and this was pretty easily achieved without any hassle okay let's look at the applications where this scenario can be used the, this method can be used in alternative to rest apis this method can help our web application take benefits from other languages special features which are currently not available in javascript machine learning modules can be implemented in python and then utilize them in web app using this method for reference you can go to node.js website node.js.org slash api slash child underscore process dot html that was all about this video training the source code of this video training is available on my github repository and you can download it from the link in the video description if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you next time with a new topic in node.js